hello everybody and welcome to another video man what a day this has been it's been like <laughs> i'm like smiling from ear to ear because the truth is um i never intended to come out and shoot any landscape photography today i never thought it was going to happen in fact i never really had the motivation to shoot a video i didn't want to do it but I decided that I would come out in the van. I've been, I'd been given a bit of a tip off for an area that's great for camping. Um, so thank you, John, for that. So I come for a drive, not knowing what to expect at all. Zero plan, just a dropped pin on a map. The weather report was horrendous. I wasn't feeling very creative. I was tired and I, frankly, I didn't want to, I didn't come. I didn't want to come, I didn't want to be here. But, you know, you have to feed the machine that is YouTube. And I've been, you know, I've been in this position so many times in my life that when you don't want to go out and do something, you don't want to get out, that is the best time to just get up and go because as soon as you're out, then all, all of those doubts and reservations that you had previously when, you know, in your familiar environment, your home, your office, whatever, all of those disappear. Forget that this bloody ridge monkey comes with plastic cutlery hidden inside, so I try and preheat the pan and end up melting a load of plastic. Well. Careful with this stuff. It's like eating fire from the devil himself. Yes, yes, yes. Ow, 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 ow. All right, so there we have cooked chicken with guacamole, a squeeze of lime, smoked jalapeno mayonnaise, naga chili sauce, topped off with a little bit of crispy salad leaves. I tell you, I am so looking forward to these. Mm. Mm. That tastes better than it looks, trust me. That is delicious. So I'm still keeping my eye on what's happening behind me over the lock. But as the sun now dips behind the horizon as we approach sunset, I'm hoping that everything's going to soften. We might get, we might get that beautiful afterglow. Nice soft colours and uh, basically a nice sunset, we'll see. But at the minute, really, I only have one composition, which is what I shot before. Maybe I'll have to look and see if I can get something with a wider lens to take advantage of a sunset, if it happens. Had to uh, retreat indoors because <laughs> the midges are out. The wind just dropped and the midges came out and there's loads in the van. So I've got the uh, little USB fan running to try and dissuade them. There's hundreds of them. Oh God, I left my doors open. Absolute nightmare. It's going to be a feast for them tonight. Feasting on, the, <laughs> on my flesh. <laughs> So, <laughs> that's about, about midge free now. There's still a few buzzing around in here, but there's nothing I can do about that. Now, let me tell you about where I am 
and what exactly happened. Um, so I got a tip off about some beautiful campsites deep in the, the type of campsites you would expect in, in Vancouver Island and, you know, the, the Washington state in the US of A, because in the UK, we don't have many wild places, certainly that you can drive in. But in some areas of Scotland, they do exist, you know, forest roads, forest roads you can drive on and camp in. So got a tip off about some areas and I drove to this one spot that was, it was, it was fantastic, but it was really windy. And I thought, mm, I'm not sure if I want to camp at the top of this hill surrounded by trees with this wind. Um, so decided to go for a bit of a drive down a forestry track and see what I could find. And I knew that there was some locks nearby. So I thought, we'll drive to a lock, see if there's a, you know, might be somewhere nice to photograph or something like that. Anyway, turned up at this lock and see this, this beautiful parking area. And there was a sign. And I assumed, because naturally in the UK, this is what we assume, is <laughs> the, the sign was going to say, no overnight parking, strictly forbidden. But no, it didn't. It said overnight camping and parking welcome. I couldn't believe it. Not only were we next to a beautiful lock with compositions, photography on our doorstep, but we could camp here um, free of charge, no hassle, nothing. So man, as soon as I saw that, I was ecstatic. Uh, there were a couple of vans here, I'm not alone, um, but I did very well with my filming. <laughs> to, you know, to, yeah, to, uh, yeah, to make it look like I was alone. Um, images. Well, yeah, there we go. That's how we've ended up here. Totally by chance, zero planning. Had no idea that they were encouraging camper vans and motorhomes to stay here, which I think is a fantastic initiative and it makes so much sense. Um, but anyway, we're not going to get into the politics of wild camping in our vans. Um, but yeah, that's why we're here. And I'm very, very happy to be here. And it's, it's still light outside. I <laughs> checked my watch. It's 5 to 11. Five, it doesn't feel like 5 to 11. It feels about 9 o'clock. Um, but anyway, I was going to say something. What I was going to say, I was going to say, um, anybody who's been watching this channel for any amount of time will know the frustration I've had with my little um, wireless Rode video microphone. It's just the most unreliable piece of kit I've ever had. It basically, just when it wants to, it just shuts down, stops working. So, finally, <laughs> got myself... A replacement, some DJI mic, basically the same thing, but better. Um, totally not sponsored at all. Actually, this was a gift from a subscriber, believe it or not. Um, he, he saw my frustrations and offered me um, a set of these. Um, so yeah, not sponsored. And if anything, um, maybe it is sponsored. I'll sponsor Hicks. I know he's got a business. Um, he owns his own company, own company called Wished By Me, which is uh, like a, an online gift list service that you send to people and then you know if you're having a wedding or something and you want to make a gift list you send that to people that's what he does um but you know i don't have to say that i'm just doing it because he was kind enough to send me these that's uh that's for me it's exciting because i've had nothing but microphone problems for about eight months now and now we should be sorted not in a great place right now creatively um, I've just, for the past two weeks, I've just been torturing myself about my work. Uh, and I've spent the whole morning.
Well, good morning, everybody. Um, slept quite well last night. Slept quite well. Uh, woke up at the crack of dawn this morning. Stuck my head out of the van. And it didn't look great, if I'm honest. It was windy. It was heavy skies. No atmosphere. All just looked a bit bleak. So, <laughs> bit of a confession. Um, went back to bed. <laughs> so, so, actually, we're about an hour and a half later now. It's uh, it's currently five thirty, so I just got up and uh, and made a, a cup of coffee. And if you're wondering, um, sunrise is at about four twenty. So I was up at four o'clock this morning, and yeah, wasn't looking very good. So I was um, in bed last night. I was thinking, I was thinking about this channel, um, and and where it's going, and and you know what the future is. And I was thinking about sponsorships. Now this video isn't sponsored, and I'll be honest with you. I don't like enjoy sponsors. I don't get excited when I get a sponsored video. I don't, I don't mind it. And it's great because the sponsors are what, like, I don't know if you know how this whole YouTube thing works, but ad revenue, which is the money you get when you see an advert, um, is pitiful. <laughs> it's unreliable. You can't live off it. Absolutely not. Um, and then sponsorships come in and kind of fill this gap. So my wage, if you like, my steady income, the, the money that feeds my family, if you like, all comes from sponsors. And I do about two sponsored videos per month. But I was thinking, like, maybe what if I was to shift away from sponsorships and go to a fan support based model? And I'm laughing because I hate the word fan. Like, I don't have fans. It's, it's weird to say that. Um, but you know something like patron and now I have no plans to do this I'm literally I'm just asking the question maybe I can get some feedback in the comments like like how would you feel about patron um, do you support anybody on patron and if you don't support anybody on patreon uh, why not you know and and do the sponsors bother you or you're not bothered you just double tap past them um I don't know, just let me know. I'm just curious. Uh, market research, we'll call it. Market research. But it would be nice to get away from sponsors, you know, and, and just just completely free myself up. Um, and as well, if I was on Patreon, I could make content for that platform that is, you know, that doesn't have a broad reach. So sort of like really niche stuff that I don't put on this channel. You know, I don't know, scanning film or whatever, something like that. Don't put that on this channel because it doesn't have a broad reach. But could be perfect for Patreon. I don't know, I'm just thinking, I'm literally the coffee talking. Not me. <laughs> well, no, it is me, but you know. Right, I'm going to finish my coffee. I've got to get dressed, man. I'm still in my sleeping bag. <laughs> I'm not going to do any photography this morning. Uh, I've got to actually crack on and make a thumbnail for this video. Uh, that's that's a big part of making these videos, actually, as well, is, man, I've got to I spend ages on the thumbnail. It's so important. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do after my coffee is drive the van to a wooded area and try and get a nice thumbnail. And then uh, I've got to go home. Um, lots to do. Very busy. I've got a family trip to Scotland, um, which I'm looking forward to. So I've got to edit this video get all that sorted and then I'm going to go spend uh, five days with my family uh, up in Scotland which is going to be really nice so a bit of a break for me um, so there you go guys thank you so much for watching um, if you've enjoyed the video uh, please do give it a like um, it's, it's a big boost for channels like myself gets the videos out there uh, again leave a comment let me know your thoughts about the whole patron thing let me know if you enjoyed this video I know there wasn't much photography and there wasn't actually much photography dialogue it was all fairly quiet um, and yeah, if you if you really enjoy the video, I have a book available, um, Landscape Photography on Location. Lots of images and stories from the field. So yeah, there we go. Thank you guys, and with a bit of luck, I will see you all next week. Mm -hmm.